Hi guys and welcome to a very exciting tutorial that we have for you today on More Mogsie. Today in After Effects we're going to be looking at how to use the pen tool with the stroke effect to create a very nice looking effect. It can be used to create handwriting, it can be used to animate on elements, it can be used for a wide range of things that you can probably think of that I can't and it will be very useful in future projects. So let's get started into it, let's create a new composition and we're going to create this 1920 by 1080 and we're going to call this one stroke. Okay, now in your composition, what you want to do is you can create a new background, so we just go to a new solid, create this what colour you like, keep it the same size as your composition, and I'm going to choose the blue colour, so we've got a nice colour palette to look at. Now what you want to do is create a new text, and I'm going to use the text more Mogsy, as you can see earlier, put on the title, action safe, and we can centralise this up a little bit. Okay, that looks roughly centered, that looks good. Uh, you can turn that back off if you want a clean look. The font itself is called Skinny Caps and that will be available down below, courtesy of Ink and Adventure who have created this font for you on their iPad using just their finger. I know how more natural can this get, it looks great, so we're gonna be using this font today. Uh, what you wanna do now is zoom in as much as you can see, which is just like that, and get on the pen tool. Now the trick here is to make sure that you're on your text layer, otherwise you're going to be wasting your time. If you're on the background layer, no point, just no. Delete it, go back onto your text layer and we're going to start drawing our pen round our font. Now you can be as pernickety as you want here, you can make as close to the font as possible. That will be best, um, but it doesn't need you to do it, you can be as rough as you want as well, within reason obviously. That doesn't, that's not going to work. So you're going to want to get as much to the centre as you can in your font. And you're going to want to, if, if that happens, then um, click on it, press delete, go back to the last point and click on that with the pen tool. To go between the pen tool and the hand tool, G is the pen tool on the keyboard and H is the hand tool. This gives you movement whilst keeping your mask up. Hit G again to go back onto editing the mask. Now what you want to do is really just go around your whole font drawing it in just like so. The pen tool can be very confusing at first. What you need to do is click and drag whilst holding down from the first click to create curves. As you can see, you're gonna learn how to create better curves as you go along. You're gonna see that the pen tool does have its faults, one just like this, so straight lines are very easy. If you was to do a curve like this and then you wanted to go to here, you're going to see it's not going to go straight to there, but it's created an arch because of this. Uh, this is something you'll get used to and you will work out how to use it as time goes along and as you get a lot better at using it. So just carry on creating your font just round like so. Every time you muck up on the mask, just make sure you click the last one and make sure you've always got that pen tool visible, otherwise you're going to be dragging and moving rather than actually drawing the mask on and you want to do this for all your letters until you're right at the end like so. Okay now that you've drawn out your font the more letters you do have the longer this will take for you but it's great to get practice in right now while you're learning so do as many as you want and get used to using that pen tool. Once you've drawn it all out and your whole font has been covered by the pen tool then you want to go up to effect generate and we're going to add on the stroke effect to our layer. Also always making sure that you're still on the same text layer that you are using and you should get this effect. As you can see if I zoom in now you can actually see that the pen tool has had a stroke effect put on top of it and that looks good. What I'm going to do to show you what this is doing is bring up the brush size. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So by animating the end in a minute it's going to draw just like this right on for you. I mean this looks absolutely awful, this is not our finished effect. So let's go back onto here and let's turn off the on original image and swap it to reveal original image. Okay that's great. So now you want to change in the brush size is affecting our layer beneath it now. So the smaller it is as you can see if we just had it like that it would be very small. It looks absolutely awful, don't use that. So you need to play around and see, you want to move it and you can see it's gradually getting bigger. 
and you want to go up until it's not getting any more bigger and stop. So mine's at 7.4 where my font is now covered with it and ready to animate. So if we zoom back out now, I'm going to fit up to 100%. You can see if we turn off the mask that our font is pretty much perfect. The G has and the S have marked up a little bit, so I'm going to show you how to sort that out if this has happened on yours. You want to go back down, turn the masks back on by using this toggle mask button here. Press G to hit up the pen and you just want to alter your mask like so, making sure that the actual font itself is being all shown by the effect. I think that's now pretty good, so if we turn that off, that looks that looks great. A little bit on the eye, I'm going to leave that for now because that's being a little bit persnickety. You're not really seeing it out here, so that looks great. Now what you want to do is start animating this. Let's get it animating. So you want to hit the stopwatch on end, and if you click on your text there and hit U on the keyboard, it will bring up your keyframes. Since this is the end, uh, we're going to drag that out to where the ending is going to be. I'm going to put it four seconds long because I feel that will be long enough for the animation to look good and reveal all the letters one by one. And we're going to drag the end back to zero. Okay, so we're pretty much done, guys. If you play that back through, you will see that it is now animated on. It's not the best. It was very rushed. You need to take your time in doing this to get a perfect look. So I'm going to show you once more with the R. You've got the little nibbits of the next part of the text that we don't want, so you bring the bring the uh, mask back up, and you just want to move your one that's affecting it. Background. I think mine's this one that's affecting it. Yeah, that's the one. And also changing down here. Okay, that looks a lot better. So if we play that back through now, you can see that it's pretty much straight. We fit that to 100%. Round preview. All right, that looks absolutely amazing. That looks so good. That is the effect itself. It has many uses, as you saw in the original. You can use it to create lines drawing on. Absolutely exactly the same procedure. Stroke on an image. This is our image, it's just a straight white line. I say straight, it's a bit wobbly because it's hand drawn. And it just gives that effect that it's been drawn on. It's very, very useful. You can use this whatever way you want. And if you use it in this, it looks a lot greater. This actual kit itself is going to be available very soon. It displaces the actual font and any element in it that is included in this composition. And as you can see, it wiggles itself. It's a lot better, it looks a lot more natural like a pen or chalk, as you can see by the line itself. If we turn off the displacement, it's just very crisp and clear. Putting that back on gives it that wobbly look and it's very animated. It's got dust particles, it's got paper textures, concrete textures, the works. Not only that, it comes with 33 different uh, elements that have been drawn. Just simply drag on an eye, put that where you want. Let's put it right in the middle there. Very easy to use. And that has been the tutorial, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a lot. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Leave a comment below. Like the video. Subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out www.ajmojo.com for more tutorials, more products, more blogs, more reviews on our website. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.